Hi, everyone. I'm meteorologist Sam Ryan. Look at the threats across the entire nation. We're starting things off in the northwest. We have an air quality alert. Air has been stagnant up in that location. You can see the uh, gray shaded areas. We have a big ridge over that area and uh, warm temperatures. The air is just not moving much all the way until Tuesday. Red flag warnings continue for Los Angeles. Strong Santa Ana winds in that location. High fire danger, but all eyes are on central Texas. It has been an ongoing issue here so far over the last week where we've picked up in the month of October. Look at Dallas, 11.2 inches of rainfall so far. Folks, this is historic. Right now, if Dallas didn't receive any more precipitation throughout the rest of the month of October, they would already be in second place. Already they are in second place for the wettest October on record. And you head all the way down to Del Rio, and you can see it's a large area. Of course, this is what all that rain has resulted in. Devastating floods throughout parts of central Texas. And they're going to add more rainfall just through the day here, Friday and into Saturday. And that's why we have the flood watches and those flood warnings for a lot of the area streams and rivers continuing. Again, they could see another inch to two inches in parts of Dallas until we head into Saturday. Another thing I want to point out, snow up here in the northeast, dealing with some more flurries. Of course, New York City picked up their earliest snowfall, record snow for the day yesterday. They saw a tenth of an inch, nothing much, but kind of interesting. Meanwhile, we do have a couple tropical disturbances spinning on the eastern Pacific. This is the same type of setup that led to the flooding in Texas over the last week. We'll have to watch to see if the jet stream can tap into that moisture again sometime the middle of next week.